in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how I maintain my burgundy hair. I've had this color in for about a couple months or so now, and I just wanted to share with you guys how I keep it this color, just in case any of you guys were wondering, and if you guys are planning on dyeing your hair, you can have these few little tips just to help you out because red does fade the fastest out of all hair dyes. The color's still vibrant, and I'm still very satisfied with the color of my hair. My roots have definitely grown in. It is at least definitely an inch, if not more. I figured by now it would need a touch up and I haven't touched it up yet, which I'm actually going to be doing. I'm actually also thinking about going a little bit brighter. If you guys want an update and a root touch up video and how I did that, then like this video and let me know and I will be gladly till I do that for you. Here's a good shot of the hair in this lighting. The first thing I, I'm going to discuss is how I wash my hair and when I wash my hair. These are the Quantum brand and it is the Riveting Reds shampoo and conditioner. I bought these at Sally's. I believe they were about six or seven dollars a piece I want to say. I use cold water to rinse the hair and get it wet. I'll have a warm shower. I'll get my whole body and my face and whatnot. And when it's time to shampoo my hair I will turn it on a little bit colder and what that does is the cold water doesn't let the red in your hair bleed out as much. That is causing the color to still stay in your hair and when I wash my hair since it is cold I'm not going to be washing it like with my back facing the shower head and letting it just all run through my body because it's like you know gonna be chilly. I would just bend my head over and just let all the water hit my hair like that and I'll just like make sure that my body doesn't come in contact with the water and it only is just hitting the hair itself. Once the hair is damp I will take about a quarter size of the shampoo and the shampoo and conditioner does have a red tint to it. Here is the tint of the shampoo and the conditioner is the same exact way and I think what is good about these shampoo and conditioners is that the red tint does help rejuvenate that color back into your hair once you're rinsing and washing it out. Lather it through my hair and then um, let it sit for a couple minutes. Depending on how long I went without washing my hair, sometimes I only wash my hair one time a week. And if I do wash my hair that once a week, then I'll rinse that out. Then I'll relather it for the second time with the shampoo again. I'll let that sit in and when I'm doing that, I'll be like washing other body parts and stuff like that. Then I'll come in with the Quantum Riveting Reds conditioner and I will do the same, pour about a quarter size into my palm. I do not rinse the shampoo out of my head. I just leave that in. You don't want to keep rinsing your hair obviously because you know that's just like stripping more of the color out so I just try to rinse it as less as possible. I will have both the shampoo in my hair and the conditioner in my hair and I just let that sit in for you know a couple two three more minutes or so. I will turn my head over once again and let the cold water hit my hair and just like rinse all of the shampoo and conditioner out of my head and by then it should all be good. So yeah, that's the washing process and how I do it. And I've noticed that the color has definitely stayed in a lot longer doing it this way. The fact that I don't wash my hair every other day or so definitely helps. Having red hair or burgundy color hair definitely requires a lot of maintenance. If you want this color hair, you are gonna have to, you know, set some time aside to be able to take care of it. It really doesn't bother me that I only wash my hair once or twice a week now because I know that the color is going to stay and that it was hard work to get it to this. I'm not trying to like let it fade just that easy. Once I'm all done washing my hair then I just brush it all out. I go in with this number four prep and protect and this is just a leave-in conditioner and it provides UV protection against your hair and it's great for color treated hair and I actually got this in my birch box like before I started dyeing my hair and I spray a couple pumps in my hair and just let it sit in there and that's definitely helped with 
maintaining the color and just a leave-in conditioner just to keep it hydrated. And after that is sprayed in my hair, I go in with either a argan oil or a Moroccan oil to just get the tips of it. Just make sure that my ends don't end up drying out and looking brittle. Usually I go back and forth so one week I'll use the argan oil and then the next week I'll use the Moroccan oil. This is just an argan oil by Numi. I just like put like a dime size amount in my hands and I just rub it through the ends of my hair. This one is just a Moroccan oil by Suave and I use this the same way. I'll just use like a couple pumps or so. I believe this one is like $59 on the Numi website. If you're looking for a more affordable route, you can go with the Suave and I believe this one's like five or six dollars at your local like drugstore, Walmart, Target. Definitely recommend these products if you are interested and trying one of them out. Another thing that's going to help you out when you don't wash your hair every other day or you know a few times a week or so is definitely dry shampoo. And this one is just the Batiste dry shampoo. But I also love using the Dove dry shampoo as well. Dry shampoo is definitely going to help just absorb all those oils that is in your hair after you haven't washed it for you know two three days or so. When I do start feeling my hair is getting oily then I'm just like, okay, you know, it's time to use some dry shampoo because my hair is about to look like a hot mess. All I do to spray the dry shampoo is just start from the bottom and I'll just layer my hair like this and spray it. And then I'll go to the next layer, spray it, then the next layer, spray it, and I just work my way all the way up. Then I make sure that I spray the outer rims of my whole head. Then I leave that in for a couple minutes or so let the dry shampoo work into my hair then I'll just rub the dry shampoo all over and just brush out the rest and then I'm good for another like day or two once that is completed then I'm able to just leave my hair the way it is or style it the way I want to style it so now we're going to talk about how I style my hair throughout the week to let it last the whole week or so without washing it. After I've washed it that one time a week, I'll go about the first day and the second day without doing anything with my hair. I'll just leave it straight down because my hair is just naturally straight as is. That will be my hairstyle for the beginning of the week. Let's say about day three or so. That will be the day that I usually end up putting the dry shampoo in my hair. So once the dry shampoo is in my hair, that also helps my hair with curls because it's really hard to like get my hair to curl. I usually use like my clipless curling wands or I'll use my hot rollers. And I'll usually wear my hair down and curled between day three and day four. And by day five and six, sometimes seven, I will just have it up in a messy bun, like when it's the dirtiest and that's when I can't really do anything with my hair. It has like so much like hairspray and product and dry shampoo in it. Like it's like not even trying to be worn down at all. The dirtier my hair gets, the better the bun gets. That is usually how I style my hair throughout the week, just to make sure that I don't have to wash it as much. And those can definitely be tips for you guys if you are looking for other ways to style your hair. Definitely notice that that has definitely helped with keeping the color in because I'm avoiding washing the hair as long and as much as possible. If this has definitely helped you, then please like this video. And if you guys have any questions about the products that I use or any questions whatsoever about my hair or whatnot, just comment down below. Let me know what's up. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel if you are interested in more beauty videos. I will talk to y'all later. Thanks. Bye.